Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the isomers of pentane. Now there are three of them. Notice that we start with the general form, the linear form of pentane called n-pentane. It has a boiling point of 36.1 degrees centigrade. Now there are two other forms that this molecule can take. We can take a carbon and three hydrogens away and reattach it like this. So now we have an alkyl out here called methyl which hangs on the second carbon. So this is now called 2-methylbutane. Butane because now you only have a string of four carbons and methyl because that's the alkyl group that we attach to the second carbon, 2 because it's attached to the second carbon. Now you may say, well, what if I attach it to the third carbon? Well, you don't have to start counting from this direction. You can also start counting from this direction, which is, would still make it the second carbon or if you were to connect it there, you can then flip it over and you end up with the exact same molecule. To illustrate that is here's four examples. So here's the format that we put on the board where we put the metal group here right on the second carbon. But what if we had connected it like this on the other side? It's the same molecule because all we have to do is take it and just simply flip it over. What if we had put it on the third carbon? Same molecule because all we have to do is simply flip it over like this and then it would be exactly like we had here on the second molecule. Or if we had put it on the third, I shouldn't say second, I should say second carbon atom. And here if we had put it on the third carbon atom, again, all you have to do is flip it over this way and then flip it over again and you end up with the exact same molecule as you had before. So it doesn't matter where you put the methyl group. In each case, you have the exact same form, the exact same isomer. So this is only one additional isomer to the original isomer of n-pentane. But there's a second thing you can do you can attach another metal group on the same carbon on the other side at the same time. Now we have what we call 2,2-dimethylpropane. 2 and 2 because you want to indicate that both of the alkyl groups, both of the metal groups, are connected to the second carbon. And di means that there's two of them. And propane now means there's only three carbons connected in a linear fashion there, where the other metal groups are then connected to that chain on the middle carbon. Notice that in each case the boiling point becomes lower and lower which means it becomes more volatile. It'll go to boiling, it'll become a into a gaseous state at a lower and lower temperature which means that these molecules are connected st more strongly to one another because of the intermolecular forces than these types of molecules and these are more strongly connected through electrical forces compared to these molecules. So you can see that the intermolecular forces diminish as we have these different isomer forms. Now you see there's three of them for pentane. There's no other way in which you can arrange five carbons and 12 hydrogens to come up with a different form of a different isomer. So in this case there's only three even though you have five carbons and 12 hydrogens. And again, remember, the concept of an isomer is that it has the exact same chemical formula. So in this case, it would be C5H12. In each case, they all have five carbons and 12 hydrogens. And there's only three ways in which you can connect five carbons and 12 hydrogens and still have the exact same chemical formula. And that's what they are.